Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to add anything pretty much over a table view. Table views make it a bit different and hard to actually put things on top of them. So today I'm going to show you how to do that very easily with Swift and Xcode. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so let's go ahead, open up Xcode, create a new Xcode project, and this will be a single view application. So let's go ahead, click next, and our product name, I'm just going to call mine table view, although this really doesn't apply to being a table view. Our language will be set to Swift, our devices will be set to universal. Click next and create. Now let's go ahead and make this a bit bigger. Head over to our main.storyboard right here, and we're just going to delete this view controller on our scene. And let's go ahead and add a table view, like so. Now let's also open up our assistant editor. Now as you can see, this assistant editor is not connected with anything on our main.storyboard, so let's go over here, go to manual, and we're just going to change it up to our viewcontroller.swift. Now inside of our viewcontroller.swift, as you can see, we have our class viewcontroller, UI viewcontroller. We want to change this over to UI table view controller. So now we'll be able to actually control the table view that we just created right over here. And now let's connect this up. So head over to our table view right here, go over to the attributes inspector, and we'll first want to set this as initial view controller. So now this table view is going to be the first thing that appears. And then we also want to go over to our identity inspector, and right inside of the class right here, we're going to change this over to view controller, like so. Now if you wanted to add a button, it's not as simple as just clicking and dragging, oh, I like this button and I want it on the scene like so. It's not as easy as that, so we need to go ahead and just add this button programmatically. So let's go into our viewed load, and inside of this viewed load, we're just going to first create our button, so we're going to say var button will be equal to a UI button, and then open parentheses with a frame. Now for a frame, we're going to change this equal to a CG rect, like so, and then open parentheses, and we're going to get the origin and size right here. So the size will be equal to CG size, open parentheses, and this will be a width of 50 and a height of 50, like so. And then our point at which this will be is going to be CG point, open parentheses, and X value of self dot view dot frame dot width divided by two. So we're going to cut this in half and this will be our origin. So we're going to cut the frame in half and that's where it's going to be as the width. Now for the y value we're going to make this equal to self dot view dot frame dot size dot height like so. And because this is a 50 by 50 square we're going to go right here and we're just going to say plus 50 or actually plus about 70. That way it's slightly above the scene. It's going to be about right there. So now let's add some color to this button. So let's say button dot background color will be equal to, and this is going to be equal to a UI color. You can make this whatever you want. I'm going to make mine a UI color dot black color, like so. Now in order to add this button onto our scene, let's head back over to our main dot storyboard right here. And this table view right here, we are not able to add this button straight onto the table view itself. So in order to add this button, we just need to click and drag a navigation controller onto our scene, like so. We can delete the second, the root view controller that I created alongside with the navigation controller. Then we take this navigation controller, right click or control click and drag from your navigation controller to the view controller that we created, and this will be our root view controller, like so. Now this still won't work because we actually need to click and drag this arrow, so it says this navigation controller is the initial view controller now, so now that's going to load the navigation controller first. Now down here inside of our view to load we say self dot navigation controller dot view dot add sub view and we're going to add the sub view of our button that we created. Now you can do this with other things other than buttons like just apply this to whatever thing you can think of this is going to work with that but for button it's just a simple demonstration so I'm going to say self dot navigation controller dot view dot add sub view and I'm going to add the button so now if we were to build and run this now I actually did mess up on the calculations. Let's head back over to our frame.size.height plus 70. This should actually be minus. So if we were to build and run this. Now as you can see, we have this button right here. Now if you want to make it more center, you can go ahead and go back here. We have the CG rec. The origin is self.view.frame.width divided by 2. But we need to say minus 25 in order to actually get it smack dab in the center. So now let's build and run. And there you have it. Now our button is smack dab in the center there. Now I showed you how to do this with a button, but pretty much you can apply this to anything. So if we were to add this, say, to a UI image, we could say var image will be equal to a UI image view. Open parentheses. I'm just going to give it the frame of our self.view.frame. 
dot frame like so and then I'm going to say image dot background color I'm going to set this equal to a UI color dot blue color and then we also can say the image dot alpha will be equal to 0 0.5 or something like that so we can still see our table view and then we're going to say self dot navigation controller dot view dot add sub view and we're going to add the sub view of our image so if we were to build and run this as you can see i just created this overlay for my table view so you can apply this to pretty much anything you want Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.